Hey YouTube, Tacoma Comics here, coming out at you with another video. This is not a haul video. I uh, haven't had a haul recently. Got a little pack of comics from uh, Midtown Comics the other day in the mail. Uh, haven't been to my LCS, been a super busy week. Haven't been out to Half Price or any other comic shops recently. Just uh, don't have a haul. So, what I do have today is something I wanted to show you. It's kind of been on my mind for a while. I wanted to talk about one of my favorite groups, one of my favorite comics, uh, one of my favorite superhero modern uh, comics and that's the champions which you know maybe you know maybe you don't that's Amadeus show is the uh, is it the amazing Hulk it's one one of the adjective Hulks uh, Viv Vision Kamala Khan Miss Marvel Young Cyclops Miles Morales the ultimate Spider-Man and Sam Alexander as Nova uh, I liked this comic a lot I've uh, had high hopes for it since it, it was it debuted even when it was announced um, because I was a big, big Miss Marvel fan, and she, her comic came out uh, with Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel came out before Champions. I have to say I like Champions. I don't love Champions. Um, I've loved a few issues of it, especially issue number nine, um, like issue one and three. It's been hit or miss. Uh, it's a good comic. It's, it's well written. It's not perfect. It's it's beautifully drawn and lettered and, and inked and colored. Uh but it uh, it could be a little bit better, I think. Um, a little bit more consistent with the good stuff. I think they've been pulled in different directions of storylines. They had like three issues where they're battling this group that didn't come off as a memorable um, villains. I can say that because I don't remember who they were. Uh, and they had um, some crossover with the Avengers where Fit Vision, spoiler alert, Fit Vision died. Um, she's right now in some alternate reality with this guy that was on the uh, alternate Earth hidden by the moon. Pretty weak storyline, except for, um, again, the interpersonal conflict between the Avengers and the Champions, which is what happened when uh, Miss Marvel, Nova, and Spider-Man left the, the Avengers um, for the first time on their own and then became the core of the Champions team. So it's like there's some really great writing, really great interpersonal drama. Viv Vision had her first kiss. There's been arguments about... Um, who the team leader should be, and there's some really great stuff. And there are great battle scenes and fights. Um, it'd be just like I said, I, I have really high hopes for this comic as, as, as going the long run, being, you know, 70, 80, 100 plus issues, and just um, really nailing it. I, I think Mark Wade has hit some high notes, but I also think he hasn't been as consistent as I'd like him to be in it. So uh, starting off, just showing off some of the champions I got. I believe this is Alex Ross. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, I can open this up or, or check this out, but this is uh, one of the variants to number one. I thought that was really cool. By the way, throughout this uh, video, any comic you see where I show you doubles or triples, uh, if it's something that you're interested in, let me know. I'd be glad to you know, do a trade or uh, you know, sell it pretty cheap. I'm not out to make a lot of money off of these. Uh, you know, I got doubles of this one too. Not a big fan of Scotty Young, but I was kind of getting every Champions one I could get my hands on. Uh, that one where Miss Marvel has the subway um, pass in her hand is going for like $20, $30 on eBay. It was like $50 when it first came out, so I'm going to pick that one up soon. Um, this is a local comic book shop day one. Wasn't the biggest fan of this one. Blank sketch variant, definitely. Sorry, I always get confused which way to move the camera. It's the opposite of the way I think to move. Um, sketch variant. Got this one here where they're they're planting the flag. Um, looking kind of sad in black and white. I thought that was pretty cool. I got doubles of that as well. And then um, this was the actual first cover of, of Champions. Um, so I got that one as well. Uh, so what I wanted to do in this video Oh, I just killed one of the champions. Champion no more. Uh, what I wanted to do in this video was go through the first appearance of, of all these guys and show you the first appearance in the comics. Um, it's actually, most of them are pretty cheap. You know, $20, $30 on eBay, you know, might get a deal at your local comic shop. That You know, I'm talking like very fine up to about a 9.0. Above that, you're going to be paying a little bit more, especially if it's slabbed. Uh, but, you know, there's some cool first appearances, some cool history to some of these characters. So, uh, probably one of my favorites is Viv Vision. Um, you know, she's right down here. Uh, I think that mom's name is Victoria and brother's name is Victor. I 
can't remember. And then Vision, of course. Uh, so this is the 12 issue, we'll call it a maxi series that uh, Tom King did. Uh, Gabriel Hernandez Walta was the artist and Jordi Belair was the, the colorist. They don't have the letter on here on the top. By the way, Jordi Belair is writing a series now, or, or sorry, she's uh, drawing a series, but a co-creator of a series called Redlands. Check it out. Uh, definitely mature content, so be careful there, forewarned, but amazing. I love Redlands. Back to the champions. There's uh, the Vision. She was created by Vision and Hank Pym, um, and her first appearance was actually in an animated show with the Avengers, but her first comic appearance was at Vision number one. Uh, Marvel has done a ridiculous number of point ones. There is this 2012, um, of which this is a variant copy. There is a 2015, um, you know, so there's like the all new, all different. There is the Marvel Now, um, and then there's a 2016 one, I think. But this is the 2012 Marvel point one. Uh, the original one says one shot, kind of somewhere down down here. Um, actually, it's somewhere down there. But this one is a variant edition, so it doesn't have the word one shot, but it is the right one because I opened it up and checked. Um, it's a pretty cool wraparound cover. I'll show that to you. And this was the first appearance of Sam Alexander as Nova. Um, I don't know much about the history of Nova. I never read the character, uh, but Sam Alexander is right here in the beginning. Fighting this guy, Terax. You can see him down there flying as Nova. Um, so like I said, the first appearance of Nova, the first Nova probably goes for quite a bit more, but this is the first appearance of Sam Alexander. Not, not too much, not too expensive. Um, I'm just going to go pick up that one because I'm afraid I'm going to step on it and forget that I dropped it on the floor. Sorry, Nova, we were talking about you and you weren't there. Miles Morales, uh, the ultimate Spider-Man. His first appearance was in Ultimate for Fallout number four. It says Spider-Man No More. Um, I believe I got this for 20 at a half price bookshop a few years ago. He's fighting some uh, generic bad guys, and they're making fun of him for wearing the Spider-Man costume because Peter Parker died earlier, and I guess they thought, you know, Spider-Man was dead, and of course they referenced that. And then uh, this kind of classic scene right that he goes maybe the costume is in bad taste so that was your introduction to miles morales i thought that was pretty well done and well handled um and then there's him in his uh, own comic ultimate spider-man number one amadeus cho first appearance uh was in amazing fantasy volume two obviously this is not volume one though it is a sort of cover swipe of volume one. Uh, Amazing Fantasy volume two, number 15. You knew that was gonna happen, right? Of course, only the Hulk survived. So there's a couple stories in here. Um, he's sitting at a diner and uh, something's happened and people are talking about him and then he just goes on a bit of a Hulk rampage trying to get away from people and be on his own. Um, just helicopters chasing him, just kind of like the uh, the original Hulk, the army always chasing after him. And that's pretty much about it. So it's a, a short story um, involving him. I'm just going to move these out of the way because apparently it wasn't a good idea having them in front. Here's your first appearance of Amadeus Cho. Again, I don't have the first first appearance of Cyclops. That would be X-Men number one, and that would be a several hundred dollar comic, even in poor condition. I have the first appearance of young Cyclops, who's the version of Cyclops that is appears in Champions. Um, and I really like his character because he's dealing with this idea as a teenager that everybody thinks he killed Professor X. If you followed the uh, all-new X-Men, you probably know that storyline better than I do. I don't really know it. But uh, his first appearance, a young Cyclops, was in all-new X-Men number one. And some cool people on this team here. You've got uh, Iceman and Angel and... Laura Kinney X-23, so kind of cool. I have a uh, nice little variant issue of that one as well. I like this cover. Pretty cool. Right, winding down our members of, uh, of Champions. Hey, you want to see my shiny bald head? Uh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan. Her first appearance was in Captain Marvel 14. If you watch my first appearance Miss Marvel video, this is going to be kind of retreading the same stuff, so I apologize. But uh, right down there. Hurry, head for the basement. Why did she say quickly or hurry? Sorry. 
Inside, head for the basement quickly, yells Captain Marvel as she's running out to fight a bad guy, and this is supposed to be Kamala Khan. Doesn't look much like Kamala Khan as she currently is now, um, but that was technically the, the first appearance of her cameo appearance, as they like to say. Um, and then getting a second cameo, I guess, with the outfit, in the last page of Captain Marvel 17 by the great Kelly Sue DeConnick. Uh, you've got a little Captain Marvel poster on the wall, and you can see muscles ripping out, and you can see the lightning bolt on the, uh, the shirt in the very bottom of that panel on the uh, last page. So some cool stuff there. Her full first appearance, again, I'm going to step on these if I don't pick them up now, so I apologize. Uh, her full first appearance was in the second printing of the one I just showed you, and that's... Uh, Hard to come by in the wild, hard to come by unslabbed because there's so few of them. Most people have slabbed them up. Um, going on eBay for an unslabbed copy that looked in pretty good condition, somewhere about 150. I sold someone sold for yesterday. Slab like this cost a bit more. Um, probably the most expensive comic I, I bought. I'm not saying that to show off. I'm just saying that because that's the fact that it is. I don't spend lots of money on comics. I don't have lots of money to spend. But this was um, the first time you see Kamala Khan in her outfit as Miss Marvel. Uh, this was drawn by Adrian Alfana, who did the artwork on the first uh, G. Willow Wilson run on Miss Marvel. Um, a lot of people mistakenly think this Marvel Point One again uh, was the first appearance of her in the outfit, but it wasn't. It was the second appearance. This came out in March. The one I just showed you came out in February. All right, so those are the. Uh, First appearances, we got Spider-Man and Nova on the floor over here. Those are the first appearances of uh, of all six members of the champions. But I have a few other things here. I'm not. A, I like. Let me go through this. <laughs> Get all tongue tied here. Um, Amadeus Cho is kind of slowly dealing with his rage issue that all the Hulk seem to have, and that's kind of makes great storyline. Uh, Kamala Khan is always, you know, trying to do the right thing and sort of wants to be a leader, but sort of as any teenager has issues to deal with and is going to second guess herself. Um, Nova seems kind of bratty. Uh, Miles Morales hasn't, they haven't developed his character in Champions as well as it like. Viv Vision is dead, um, so that can make a really great storyline. So at, out of all of them, and young Cyclops, like I said, he's dealing with the idea that uh, he killed Professor X and a lot of people aren't happy about that. Um, even though apparently it was the Phoenix Force that overtook him that, that, that did that. But uh, out of all of them, I don't like Nova. I just think the helmet is kind of goofy. Um, the look I don't like. I don't like him as much as any of the other characters. Um, so I've got some suggestions for people to either replace him or uh, just get rid of him or at least add some new people. One that I'd like to see is, is Kate Bishop. Um, right here. Sorry. Right here. Uh, Kate Bishop also goes by Hawkeye. She first appeared in Young Avengers number one. Um, really cool character. Kelly Thompson's writing the heck out of her. I, that was a series I was really sad to see canceled. I was liking that. Lots of fun, kind of brevity and light, but uh, it's good storylines. Um, did a nice job. Got the cancel, unfortunately. It happens. Um, so she's free to go ahead and join a team. I, I suggest the champions if anybody at Marvel's listening. I got a few variants. This is Brian Lee O'Malley. I, I think this is a, just a great, great cover. Somehow he's, um, I don't see babying, but making everybody look younger than they are, even though they're young Avengers. You know, this um, they definitely look like stylized, cartoonized teenagers. But somehow this just works for me. I love this cover. Um, I love the second printing of the cover, which is just a sketch version of that Brian Lee O'Malley uh, variant. If anybody likes that, Hit me up, see if we can make a trade or something. Uh, don't really want to sell stuff. I mean, I don't mind selling stuff, but I, I don't want to make money off of you guys watching my videos. I'm going to try to trade and keep comics going back and forth. So I do have two of those. And I also have the, uh, the sketch cover. And then there is finally a, a Scotty Young variant. And like I said, all respect to Scotty Young. A lot, of, a lot of people love him. I've got his Infinity Gauntlet number one variant with the Come At Me Bro. That's awesome. But I don't. I don't always love his stuff. It's just. It's just not something that grabs me. So yeah, Kate Bishop. I think would be a great addition to Champions. That'd be really cool to see. Another great addition. Um, and she is getting canceled. 
would be America Chavez, who first appeared in Vengeance um, Number One. This is one of six issue uh, limited series. Um, came about I don't know two thousand something. Uh, let's see if I can find this quickly without boring the heck out of you by looking through this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, she's in here somewhere. She doesn't look quite like she looks now. There you go. Okay, flying down this big well or something, um, wearing a little halter top and big old belt and boots and pants, looking pretty cool, looking pretty uh, fierce. That is America Chavez, otherwise known as Miss America. I uh, I like her character. Um, no disrespect to Gabby Rivera, I didn't love the, the comic. I got like the first three or four issues. It seemed like it was trying too hard to make a statement. I got no problem with statements. I got no problem with, I wouldn't even call it social justice warriors. I call it the history of comics, the way they have been since the 40s. Um, always making statements, always saying something about fighting for the underdog and the good guy. I got no problem with any of that. Um, but, you know, some things can be written well and some things can't be written, aren't written as well. And I just think that the America comic didn't quite hit it out of the park the way it could have. So she's still an amazing character. Uh, I'd love to see her on The Champions, love to see her fight with Amadeus Cho, I think that would be pretty cool. Another person who I think her uh, her series is getting getting cancelled and it is now free would be um, Riri Williams, otherwise known as Iron Heart, which I, I think is a pretty horrible um, name, I don't know, I don't like that name, but she made a cameo right at the end of Invincible Iron Man by Bendis number 7. And she's in her MIT dorm room. I don't know. I went to college. I did not have a dorm room that large <laughs> where I could get away with that much stuff. Maybe she's in a lab or something. I don't know. But she's uh, she's making the Iron Heart suit there, which is pretty cool. And then finally, she uh, she showed up uh, in full armor fighting people. Look, it says featuring Riri, Riri Williams right there uh, in Invincible Iron Man number nine. So three suggestions there. Uh, Miss America, Iron Heart. And uh, Kate Bishop Hawkeye, I think, would be a good addition to the champions. Get some good conflict in there. Also, balance them out. Three girls, three guys. This is if we get rid of Nova. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking on him. Sorry, Sam. I really mean no disrespect. Just uh, not, not clicking for me yet. So that's what I got for you today. Um, hopefully, you learned something. Otherwise, I don't know why the heck you sat here watching me looking at my, my kitchen and my shiny bald head. Uh, if you've got any questions, please throw them down. Any comments, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If I made any mistakes, please let me know. I'd be glad to correct them. I don't know everything. I can definitely make mistakes with issues, numbers, names, back issues, stories, uh, histories, etc., etc. So let me know, and uh, you know, guys have a good day, and I'll hopefully watch one of your videos pretty soon. Take care. Hey guys, before you go, uh, Vision just wanted to remind me to uh, give some shout outs and I, I, I get so caught up in what I'm doing with my videos, sometimes I forget, so I do apologize. So two big shout outs right at the top. Um, Pop.comics uh, shouted me out in her video this morning. She won. I did a subscriber video. I was really like hurting for subscribers, so I get a subscriber, that one of the first 10 people to subscribe to my channel, just got a random um Ran, uh, won a random contest, so I got a couple of Wonder Woman uh, Frank Show variants that I gave her. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool, so I really appreciate her mentioning that and showing those in the video. Key Market Comic Watch gave me a nice shout out the uh, the other day, so I appreciate that. And I got a bunch of new subscribers here. You know, hit them all up. Comic book ASM artist uh, Holden von Guntersack, uh, Beauty Comics, Dominic Ricci, Irachi Twelve. Nerd vs. Fat, Daydreams and Nightmares, you know, thanks a lot guys, I really appreciate it. Um, it feels good when you get subscribers, you know, and just uh, let's, you know, that people at least glancing at your videos, maybe watch them all the way through if they find something interesting. So, uh, you know, thank Vision for reminding me that because I forgot and uh, I appreciate all the like, comments and subscribes and all the love from the community. So take care guys, have a good one.